Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production or oh, Jericho production. So I'm at the Revolution and of course New Aeon and uh, just now I did a review on the Panmin at Cafe Teen. So I'm gonna do a review on not Gundam toys. They don't they only have one box of Gundam uh, yeah and most of, mostly is all Transformers thingy. So I suggested to them that they should sell pirated Gundams but not at uh, the price where other shops are selling like say New Century Bookstore uh, Excuse me So let's get on cracking inside And see some pictures of uh, Optimus Prime and whatnot And there's a cool I think it's, it's not, not a hologram. I mean, back in the days of the 80s and 90s, uh, toys usually come with a small little sticker of the, of the logo of the Autobots or the Decepticons, which can change color due to uh, the heat. Yeah, you rub it and it will change colors. And see here, it's 20% off. And we have the sound wave. Mm, very nice cool boxes and this is a classic sound wave design the walkman i think it's the g1 is this a g1 sound wave uh, yes yes eh? so yep this is a generation one thingy and the uh, musha shin musha gundam but from bandai of course <coughs> and this is a g1 what should i call it oh fuck i can't remember a constructicons and this is a picture of a uh, devastator and this is the uh, megatron before he was bastardized in the movies uh, the bastardized version is in front of the cover as well this sucks actually um, but what is this it is oh it's a double it's two is it two in in one two in one so we have the gun <coughs> And the stupid looking tanker. Okay, let's take a look inside. Oh shit. Fuck. Never mind. Mm, oh, it's, it's a non, non openable box, but it's okay. Put this back where it was. And we have here is the, the new version of the Constructicons with, uh, let's see, what the fuck? Soup. Soup. Okay, I'm going to go from the upper left downwards and onwards to the what should we call it? Upper right. So one uh, counterclockwise. That's right. This one we have the Suka 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 Benjia Suka Benjia. What the fuck? And the second one is D. Dise fute this uh, ah forget I'm not gonna go through all the katakanas. That's too much brain power. So we have here is uh, hmm and so we have bumblebee and we have the police car from the what shall call it first movie. What's his name? Barricade. That's right. And we have what the hell is this device label? Oh, this uh, is a mouse. And this one's from the cartoons, and we have uh, Ratchet, Ironhide, and whatnot. I just love the Ironhide, especially the ones from China, the super sized ones. Uh, they were awesome looking, and definitely I can get it for like say 120 ringgit, but it's from China, so definitely it won't be so durable. So these these ones, oh, that's the Blitzwing. I haven't seen this before. Hmm. It's 30 years of Transformers. So the level of transformation is number two out of three. Oh, this is a Blitzwing. Hmm. Very, very familiar. Is it from the G1? It's a fighter in the tank. Hmm. I remember there was one fellow who can transform into a tank and a fighter, and he was in the movie, the Transformers movie, which is the cartoon version where Optimus Prime dies. So, I don't know whether it's the same fellow or not. He was featured heavily there as well in the movie. And we have the others. Quite a lot of Transformers. As I said earlier, this is uh, actually a Transformers 
type of uh, shop and they do have Star Wars as well oh god mm. got a spiky spiky on my my what you call socks god damn it and we have to rest and uh, I think we are RC here the motorbike female ish lot autobot and uh, this brings back familiar memories we went to the fallen the third of a movie which I watched in uh, in Britain uh, specifically during that time I was watching this movie at Stephen Eng which is near uh, shit I forgot already uh, the place Nebworth yeah Nebworth in, in England uh, where I I watched uh, the music festival Sony Sphere. I got to watch uh, Linkin Park, Metallica. Wait, wait, is it Metallica? Yeah, Metallica. And before that, I was like at uh, Guildford, England as well, which is just south of London. A really nice town, this Guildford is. A uh, lovely town, actually. And I got to watch. Uh, who, uh, who did I get to watch there? I can't remember. Shit. Uh, it was okay. Uh, camping there as a volunteer and of course I froze my balls off on uh, during the first night because I didn't have a sleeping bag therefore I had to go to Argos to buy a sleeping bag and therefore I have a sleeping bag now and I'm in Malaysia which is bloody warm and I don't need a sleeping bag so this barricade a landmine never seen them before and this is a recon barricade hmm it's different from this one it's a something else so other things they have are g1 oh, shit fucking hell you got this uh, you know those you work in the field you have a lot of those weeds they have the type of a uh, seed that gets stuck to something else and it's a bit spiky so it's just bothering me so this one uh, based on the star screams uh, design of the fighter so they are practically the same transformation or transformer with a different color scheme and here we have the names of uh, uh, Sukai Wapu Sky Wap and San Sandakuraka Suncracker yep but they do look the same because it's just dark blue well never mind and we have the trend uh, Optimus Prime uh, in uh, flight mode when he was like he cannibalized that, uh, that 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 old museum piece of a crap Autobot or Decepticon, formerly Decepticon. And what's this? Hmm. Transform the Sons of Cybertron. Oh. Okay, I saw Optimus Prime and Rodimus. Then Decepticon set. What's this? Is there an opening? There is no opening, so I don't know what it is. What I can see from pictures here is the Cyclonus, Decepticon, Scourge and Galvatron or oh, 3 in 1 Cool So all, most of these are, I mean most of them, I mean all of them are trans, uh, are what, uh, original so it's Takara Toys So most of these are like from Japan itself so it's a better quality and it's not from China so this is six shot which was in G1 as well and he looks huge very huge the price is huge as well yeah. it's a very nice collectible because it's a big box and you can open it to to showcase the whatever is inside I don't know whether you can see it or not because of the lighting and the reflection six shot can transform into six or five types of uh, modes yeah uh, so yeah it's for collect uh, it's a collectible so hopefully one day it will go up in price and this is the original 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 sound wave and it's a whole damn set you don't you don't need to buy separate pieces of the cassettes uh, the, it has the laser beak buzzsaw ravage and red band so if you want to like collect them all this is the one to get so four tapes included and uh, yeah cool very very cool and captain america as well not cool but it's okay so the rest is ah oh, we have dc universe here the green lanterns that's funny chap with a 
with a tree for a head and we have the blue thingies cool there are so many green lanterns which i don't recognize because all of them are actually cannon fodder like this one i recognize the one with the beak and what's this and something like to do with gi joe seems to be and we have cow right not cow rhino uh hell jordan and god knows who this is and uh, this one is from I don't know which faction of Green Lantern it is because they are they have so many factions during that uh, the last what five years they had that uh, what night dark black blackest night and we have uh, the cyborg Superman I'm surprised that he is still alive but since he's something like the thing which is like cell based thingy it's like electronic and he can like, infect others and put his personality into other things and transform and this is a very weird looking green lantern the insectoid type of lantern and then you have i think it's called cyborg and we have superman and batman and we have spider-man's as well of course the amazing spider-man movie was uh, another turd in the toilet yeah, because that movie did not do it for me. Uh, Andrew Garfield is... Uh, he looks the part of Peter Parker. As in... And also the part of Spider-Man because he's uh, tall and skinny. But uh, he was a bit too like... Say... He's like always rambling and rambling and does not know what to say. Something like Sh Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. So that's too bad. Hopefully it will do well in the second movie. And we have Transformers, I mean Star Wars here, which uh, thank God that uh, Lucas Arts or Lucas Soul Office is a division of Star Wars franchise to Disney because uh, there will be one movie every year, seems to be. Because uh, Lucas is not doing justice to Star Wars at all because uh, after he did the first three prequels prequel movies my my uh, my belief in the force has has wavered uh, what you can say is uh, I felt a disturbance in the force after the three prequel movies came out and uh, this one this stormtrooper cyborg ish type I think it is from the dark forces movie something to do with uh, Kyle Katarn uh, excellent games from Lucas Arts back in the 1980s and 1990s. But, um, after that, uh, there weren't many memorable games from Lucas Arts. So hopefully, the duties of making an awesome Star Wars game will be better at Activision, since uh, I think uh, Disney licensed the Star Wars games franchise to Activision. Is uh, Activision are they the ones who did that? Uh, what do you call it? Was it Call of Duty or was it the Battlefield franchise? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the new Star Wars. I think the new one is uh, which is Battlefront. Uh, they they showed a trailer of the AT-AT and also a, a Snow Speeder. I think I'm not sure what but what the fight fight over is. But uh, this short trailer really piqued my interest. Hopefully, they will do it right and making a very awesome real-time strategy game. Uh, in the likes of, uh, say, Company of Heroes, which is really, really fun. Really, really fun. Uh, yesterday, oh, so today is the 22nd, uh, 24th of July 2013, well, Wednesday. I beat my first uh, AI battle, thank God. I beat it already one level, this one level, at general mode, but after that I could not win again. I tried two times but I could not repeat my success. So the AI is pretty awesome in Company of Heroes too. So here we have what Optimus Prime first edition in black color, hmm. in a very very strange looking box. Uh, I think it's based on the cartoon or the game, I'm not sure which it is. So it's a black uh, trail, a uh, black truck, and we have something like a RC, but uh, it's called Elita. Uh, the bike looks pretty cool, very cool indeed. 
Um, but the transformed version is ugly as fuck. Never mind. So, ah, we have that, uh, whatchamacallit? <coughs> Gaia Unicorn. Gaia Unicorn, which was featured, uh, the Unicorn was the main baddie in the first Transformers animated movie of the 1980s, which was still very, very awesome, even <coughs> in today's standards. Especially when there's a third, third to compare it with uh, like the like the likes of the first, well, so not sorry for the second and third Michael Bay movies. I like the first movie more than the second and third one, definitely. So it is quite disturbing to know that Michael Bay will be doing a fourth movie, and even though there's a new cast and no Shia LaBeouf. Uh, when you have Michael Bay uh, on the helm of this movie, you know that it's going to be a shit fest, a stinker of a movie. So that's why I'm not going to go and watch that movie at all. And it's very hard to actually pry money out of my wallet just to see a movie. Because even with the likes of Pacific Rim showing now, I'm very eager to watch it. But uh, might as well not. Because with the advent of internet, you can get a nice Blu-ray when it comes out, courtesy of Yifi. So the others we have... Okay, this is something I've seen before in uh, Bajai Times Square, IT Toys, Optimus Prime with uh, Inner Skeleton. Don't know whether it's tra transformable or not, but uh, it, you can see the runners here, so you have to do some work on this set here. So, is it transformable? Uh, so this is something like like doing a Gundam. Is this transformable? Uh? No. No. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I put you on in the video? It's okay. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, this is a non-transformable Optimus Prime. And we have Terminator Salvation as well. And uh, wow, Scarecrow and Batman Demon, the figures, something like what Excel, sh uh, Excel Shop sells. So the rest is uh, no, G1 and G1, Optimus Prime Soundwave. And uh, sadly, I haven't seen Shockwave, the G1 version, not the ugly one from Transformers 3 Michael Bay shit edition. And here we have Starscream. And RC is it? Ah, yep. RC and Optimus Prime in one whole set. Special value includes exclusive Optimus Prime and RC with battle damage. Okay, okay. Quite a big box. Really, really big box. So it's just two and a half. Uh, two and a half of my length between my thumb and pinky. Then we have other figures as well. The Whiplash Iron Man Two, which is another third. And we have the Dark Knight Joker, the Rob Bank Robber Edition. Hmm, can it be opened? Hmm, no, but uh, it's, it's, it seems solid in this box uh, and it's heavy as well. So this is a collector's box and you can see Heath Ledger. Of course Heath Ledger is like, well, dancing with the 99 virgins in heaven. Oh, sorry, he can't actually be dancing with the 99 virgins in heaven because he's not a Muslim. Uh, okay, then we have Batman Dark Knight here. Also, you can see Michael Bay. He, I'm mean, not Michael Bay, sorry. What's his name already? Christian Bale. Uh, not uh, ranting and scolding the extras or whatnot. Oh, this one can be opened actually. Never mind, I'm not going to open it. And we have Fung one, uh, the Storm Warriors, the Storm Riders uh, set of knives, uh, not knives, swords, uh, mini swords. Cool. And we have the very, very familiar sword of uh, cloud or one, the sword of uh, wind or Fung. And this one I'm not sure, is this the sword somebody, I'm not sure. Is it a sword of no name? I don't think so. No name sword is different in design. It's more like a 
like a Chinese sword, a normal Chinese sword. And the rest, I'm not sure at all. This one is, uh, oh, this is from the movies, uh, the Storm Warriors. Hmm. I didn't like this Storm Warriors movie. It sucks. I didn't actually watch the whole thing, but I was like falling asleep in the first 20 minutes. So the rest we have, uh, Uruto Rama Gunasu. Uh, God knows. This one is what? Ray. Uh, what the fuck is this? This 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 kanji. I never seen this before. Uh, this is a very weird kanji. Ray. Purai Mu. Red. Red something prime. Red prime. Mm, God knows. So these are from directly from Japan. So the quality is assured, especially the ones with the kanji Jinbu. Hmm. Ah, it says English as well. Gano, Gano, Jimbu, Kenzan. And this one surely, oh, this one does not have so well. Uh, it's a red prime. So, there's nothing else to say about the toys here. So, I'm gonna end it soon. So, this has been a Jericho production, also known as a Wait a Minute production. So, we have a, a Star Scream here. Looks awesome. Do you know how to transform this fella? Can you show it to me? So I'm gonna ask the worker here. By the what's your name? Venice. Sorry? Venice. 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 What Wednesday? V A N E S S. When or mm. Very very unique name. So let let's see how we transform. It has to take some time. Uh, yeah, I know. I've seen it on uh, YouTube and wow, it is very very complicated. Oh, what are your wheels on the Transformers movies by Michael Bay? No. Huh? What is it? The, your wheels on the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Um, okay, I think. It's, okay. It's good. It's good? Okay. So which of the first, second and third movies do you prefer most? Or you like most? Second, yeah. second one? The first one is not good. First and second one is good. Ah. I think the third one is. Um, it's a cluster fuck, is it? <laughs> yes. Yes, also, is it? Not really good. So it's confirmed already. The third movie is a cluster fuck of a movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Phew, the whole thing just comes out. Holy shit. So we're watching a pro here transforming Starscream. I mean, I think you have to memorize everything just to transform the damn thing. Isn't it? Uh, yes. Um, I think so. Oh, it came out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, should I leave you alone or to concentrate? Uh, let me concentrate, I think. Okay, I, won't, I will ask you questions later. The power of camera is it makes people nervous. Oh, we have a small box of uh, bus saw and frenzy. The boxes from China, I mean from Japan, is uh, very very cardboard-like and very very hard. So it's cool, very good for collecting. No need to be nervous, you're going to be in on YouTube, that's all. <laughs> oh, you can really see the shape of the star screen coming into form. This is the brown type, huh? Mm. How many types are there of star screen? A lot of types. Just for star screen itself? Yes, different color. Oh. Have you seen the one that's very expensive one, very big huge box of star screen with all the red and blue uh, electrical wirings you can see one? That's off star screen. Wow. That one is very 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 expensive, uh, 1000 ringgit. Oh, this is a very detailed star screen. You can see the inner frames as well, the pistons and the spokes wheels. So, it's not bad actually. Uh, of course, it took maybe like how long did it take? Uh, two minutes to transform this thing? This one is easy. 
This is easy. Middle size. Middle size. Oh, there are other sizes. Yes. Middle class, that one is a middle class. That one is a big size. It's it's medium. Leader class. I don't see any star scream. Class, this one is leader class. No, I, I need the size. Oh, the size. So there's a leader class for this, this one. one. It's a Voyager class. So Voyager. Okay. Medium. So the, there are two types of transformers. This one is deluxe. Deluxe. This one is small. One. Small. But still got. This one is medium class. Medium. Uh, what? Legend. Legend. So there are actually four classes. Uh, legend is the smallest, from smallest. Uh, what else? Deluxe. Deluxe. Okay. Voyager. And leader. So there are four classes. The leader is the most complicated and biggest one of all. So yeah, that's the transformation of this uh, Star Screen by Venus. We, we, okay. Venus or Venus. So he likes the sec first and second uh, Michael Bay movies. So the third one he did not like, and I don't see any of uh, what you might call it sound wave. Uh, no shock wave at all. Shock wave. Ah. Um, we have solar already. Solar already. already yes. Is it the gun version, the G1 version, or the no, movie version. oh movie version? Where is oh, okay? Movie version, eh? Hmm. So is there anything else that uh, I can ask Venus to do? Nothing much actually. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna... Hey, is this transformable? Do you know how to transform it? Can you like show me how? Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> I got plenty of time. So see you in part 2 of this... Uh, shit, what's this place called already? Uh, the revolution. The revolution in uh, near Kinta City Shopping Center. See you in part two. Over and out.